everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of It's Jenkins. This episode of It's Jenkins is brought to you by Hybrid TSM QS. Throw things far with Hybrid Triple Strength Myomar. Well, yesterday's episode went pretty quickly. Well, I mean, it went, it went fairly well. We're going to hopefully get something like that going again today. Now, we've got the timeline advanced another 13 days. We went past the financial report. I spent a little bit of money. I decided to bring the Vulture up and running here. Let's have a look at the barracks. I think our Heavy Lance is going to require a lot more cost than I can actually afford right now to get it back up and running. So, oops, wrong one. Um, so, i got to rethink what I'm planning on doing with that Lance. I don't know quite yet what I'm planning on doing. So, I've dropped it down into the third slot here for now. And the Gauntlet's back. Um, I'm not sure if I, ever sh if I showed you the loadout on this guy. I decided to um, bring him up into service. Because it was a pretty good mech when we got it, right? And I decided to go with a, a streak build on this thing. So we're a streak 20. And then it's got six medium lasers as well. The heat sinking is actually pretty good on this guy. Bolt-on AMS, uh, exchanger, uh, cockpit interface. So this guy will probably... It's also got a supercharger for some speed. It's actually not not bad in speed, 4.7. But we've got a little bit of extra speed with the supercharger to be able to move quickly. Uh, getting close with all these weapon systems, so I'm hoping this actually kind of works out for this uh, for this uh, um, The new second lance it's kind of going to be a medium lance and in order to kind of keep the same look to it Because we kind of have um, you know the gauntlet the bushwhacker Storm crow they've, they've, they've kind of all got that hunchy kind of look to it So I decided to bring the vulture up. Uh, I got a loadout for this thing. It's actually getting loaded out right now so um, it'll be back in seven days. So before the end of the month, and we're going to get this thing running probably maybe the next, no, it won't be the next episode, but maybe the one after that or some, somewhere around there. But in, probably this week sometime it'll be up and running. Um, and we're going to swap out the, av we'll put it up in here instead of the avatar. We'll bring it up. For now, we're going to keep Boomer um, up in this second lance. Uh, so the, this, um, the avatar will probably move back down to this lance here. Crusader will probably stay here. Uh, the Perseus, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this thing. It's been pretty badly. It's been cored pretty much. We lost that the Hag 40. Um, so I may strip it for parts temporarily. I'm not really sure. Uh, the main lance, the trebuchet, we lost the the clan medium heavy laser in the one arm. I did have another one, but we were having heat issues with this thing. So I swapped out a, where is it here? Um, ER medium laser magna. It's got more range than the the clan um heavy laser uh less heat and does 10 less damage but the increased range i think uh in the drop in the lower heat will overcome that 10 percent like the less damage we want to cycle weapons on and off as much so i think overall it's probably a better better way to go and other than that i didn't really touch anything so i think we're ready to go so i have a mission here i want to take today uh let's not go to the barracks let's go to the command center and jump straight into a fight here. So we're going to go with Command Center, please, at some point. That would be good. Hey, Commander. Thank you. Pull up a chair. We're going to take this assassinate mission, Three Skull. And it's against the locals, but they've got a professional here. Um, so I'm hoping it's actually... They want us to drop a low tonnage land, lance to give them, you know, a sense of false sense of security or whatever. They say a low tonnage lance... Um, I'm going to go 312 and get some sea bills out of this. But um, they said low tonnage lance, but it's like under 500 tons. So that's technically, I could drive. <laughs> that's a high tonnage lance, don't you think? It'd be like four atlases. I, I, a five, I could drop five atlases, and, and that, that would be considered a low tonnage lance, I guess. I don't know. But we're going to pull out the uh, avatar. We'll bring um, where we are, trebuchet. And let's get scooter back into play here. And we'll leave everything as it is. Um, the Duke and the Pegasus are going to stay in this lance. I did bring the... I brought forward... Uh, we have enough parts to put another, together another Cloud Buster, so I did that. But rather than going with the laser version, I went with the Midran version, the AC-5 Midran. So I got that brought forward. That's going to go to the second lance. And then um, the Nidhogg came forward. So we have an Afrit and a Nid Nidhogg. And I'll probably run those two together. They'll probably go into the Heavy Lance uh, eventually. Don't know where they're going to be placed just yet. If, I mean, it, I think I'll I'll try to make the vehicles as modular as possible where we can just kind of shift them into a battle, figuring where we want to put them, um, if we need them or not. So, But for now, I think this Lance is pretty good with these two fast vehicles. I think it offsets the, the two slower mechs. 
uh, quite nicely. So uh, let's just get going. Yep, I know. And I know. Command interface initiated. All right, here we go. I'm hoping for a couple of low-end medium lances and a good boss. Let's see what we get here. No, it looks like one lance of defenders. So hopefully it's high-end medium, low-end heavy. I doubt it. Well, three skulls, who knows, right? And it's locals, so... Uh, military happens during a hurricane, eh? Whatever. They may get reinforcements, so we'll see. Um, hmm. I gotta close. Let's start off behind the rock here. I got a feeling they're gonna get reinforcements. But we'll see what happens. Alright, we got a guy open up on the top of the hill here. Wolverine 3R, so it is kind of mediums, I guess. Waiting for uh, mm, you got more armor. So let's go scout a little bit. Let's get down here in the trees. Let's move. Yeah. Oh shit, I thought that was a mech there for a second. It is not. And that is good. What do we got here? Emperor. That's a 90 ton. I think we got Emperor parts. 90 ton assault max. Battle axe. So they're all old. Really old. Azula. Medium rifle. Machine gun array. Good armor though. Regular Wolverine. Wait, that's not the boss, is it? Uh, maybe he's got a guard? That can't be the main guy. That could be. Who knows? So I tried to ship this rack, handheld rack, over to the um, the Black Knight, but I don't. I can It can't carry this. This is a ten-ton rack, and my Black Knight can only carry seven and a half tons. Unfortunately, I don't have any way to get it in there, so it's kind of stuck on this mech. But I mean, it gives us a weapon to we can use to close the enemy, close with the enemy, you know. Standing by. Uh, you. I'm afraid I'm not going to have much impact on these guys. Oh, let's go down to here. Acknowledged. Get closer next turn, I guess. Keep applying damage to this guy. I don't think this is going to last 10 turns. Nothing. Failed to connect. Just depends on where this vehicle decides to go. It's actually not a bad loadout. I wouldn't mind uh, getting that vehicle for ours. Waiting for orders. Be nice if we could. Um, yeah, you're way out of range for everything. Let's just get over to here. Our heavy guys are just a little bit too slow. Yeah, you're done. You're done. You, on the other hand, have got some range, so... I, I did try to work in some loadouts for this guy. And it's a tricky proposition with the amount of space the weapons I have to, to outfit stuff with. Um, heat sinking like heat sinking is really good with lasers damage. but it's like just trying to max yeah. it out has been really like difficult with what I've got so um, I left the Technology. configuration as it is for now if I was going to get an AMS in there I can sneak it into the leg but then I need to pull some stuff to do that so um, I can get a mark 2 AMS in there with one ton of ammo, if I drop the regular large laser in the arm and replace it with a small, or sorry, a light PPC. I thought about doing that, but I wasn't, I don't know. I'm not convinced that that's the way to go just yet. And the heavy streak PPC, while it's nice, is 15 tons. So replacing the two PPCs in the arm, the, the, uh, um, the snub noses, uh, that's 12 tons right there. But the problem is that the heat sinking goes up. So now I gotta pull the large laser from the other arm to drop the heat, which is 5 tons. And then I got like another 3 tons left over so I can put an AMS in. But then my overall damage drops significantly. Um, like I, the damage drops by like, uh, I think it was, what, 20. 
like 60 points or something like that. It was ridiculous. And then I got to get really close to be able to use a lot of the stuff. So it's like, it was, I don't know. I wasn't really comfortable with it. While it certainly was possible, I just wasn't really, like I said, not like totally sold on it. Um, so I decided to go and leave what I have for now. Let's see if we can get... Yeah, let's get down to here Confirmed. for now. We'll keep the rack wound up and I'll turn it off next turn. We'll just shoot this guy with it. Nice. Strip some of that armor off this guy. Ready to get it on. Yeah, we had to wait a fair bit of time to get metal back. Not too bad. Mediocre. Oh, it's pretty good on him though. Well, the MRM can't hit though, so let's get up to here. Going full throttle. Finally in range. Let's get this. Oh yeah, I never redid my uh, my loadouts. I should do that. The firing order. Actually, that's pretty good on this guy. We'll take this shot. Um. Yeah, bolt-on rockets are fine. I love this loadout. See ya. I hope we can salvage that. You know, it's funny. Like, I like the big weapons. Like, the heavy streak PPC is kind of okay. Like, the the whole notion of it's pretty cool. But honestly, it's like vo a volume of firepower is what really ruins the enemy the most, right? Just sheer volume that they can't overcome in defenses. And those MRMs, while they have a harder chance to hit. Is, is just volume. Volume of damage. You know? So... And I'm hesitant. I got one extra uh, weapon slot on the Ready Black Knight in the leg that I kind of, like, not really seen. Where'd he go? Well, let's just do... this. Which I don't think will do much. I've got a sensor lock. Yeah, nothing. Sure, we'll get down to here and fire the combat Roger. shotgun. So yeah, like I was saying, it's like volume of weapons that does, like, it really does the damage to the enemy over time. They will be done. Now, when we get into like like super heavy lances, yeah, getting those big pinpoint damage weapons are, are like just to overcome them. Um, I totally get that. But my most su successful mechs, I mean, the, the Banner Snatch, we didn't really get much of a uh, a good trial run on. But the Banner Snatch, it, it, while it had the double light AC-20s, kind of a good loadout, um, it wasn't really, it didn't really do what I thought it was going to do. Punching all the you know? Where's that there? Like, if I landed oh, two AC-20 hits on this guy, I would never have gotten that much damage unless I hit hit them both in the same spot. Which is very rare, you know? Ow. Yep. I don't know, maybe it's just the way I play, too. I just, like, I, I prefer the volume, knowing that I can at least land something and open up opportunities for my other mechs afterwards. You know, short of like the Hetzer, which was like an amazing backstabber. Target lock on enemy six. You know, for my mechs, I really gotta be able to open up enemies and then, you know, take advantage of it, right? <laughs> Alright. We still got the- wait, wait, do we have the Pegasus still? Here we go. God, you really want that Vindicator, huh? I'm under heavy fire. Probably because you're the easiest to hit. Now. Waiting for orders. Alright, you're gonna get some vigilance. Huh. 
Um, boy, is that one torso the left one, eh? Let's get down to here. Give them a bit more of the right side, but we're going to keep shooting this battle axe. It's opened up now, so we should be able to... Yeah, we'll dust it with this. Let's just go this route. Here it comes. Because once again, the uh, acid ammo is only good on uh, armor. Yeah, I see ya. Oof, meltdown. Target eliminated. That's what I mean, like, just... You need somebody to open the enemy up, and then another person to just, like take advantage of the opening, you know? Um, how are we doing for heat? Oh, you're pretty good. I don't think we need to worry too much about it. Let's get down here, I think. We'll get in the trees. Give them some armor to shoot at, and then we'll open up with the Emperor here. Emperor new claw. We'll leave the rack on. Why not? Turn it off a little later, but... On it. This is the guy I want. Ooh. Okay. It's got tandem. Internal structure damage. I see that. What's up, boss? Get to here. Oh, yeah. Go after this guy. Not that the heat's gonna do much, but hopefully the cluster I think it's close enough that it won't go off. Yeah, it didn't. Nice. A little bit of damage. A little bit of damage. Not having a good time. Waiting for orders. Yeah, it's just... Yeah, see, here's the thing, too. Like, this guy's... Because he's so slow, he takes forever to get into battle. I need to have those long-range weapons. And that the Heavy Streak PPC is actually shorter range than, than the large chem lasers. It's like 540 meters instead of 600. So uh, it doesn't here. seem like much. But, like, here, you can already see, like, the snubs are, like, 780. So it's just... I can't get, I can't get the targeting on the guys that I want to get the targeting on. So... Going with the bigger weapons aren't isn't necessarily going to give me what this thing's needed to do, you know. Hopefully, this guy, if I can get, uh, I don't know, 600 meters is still what do you need? like a really, really, really far distance. I'm gonna get on this guy now. Which armor do you have? Garbage. Nice. Out. 600 meters is like it seems like a lot but on maps like this it's 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 nothing really you bet your asteroid he is standing by all right Exactly, that's supposed to be snow or what the hell that's supposed to be, but it's like kind of bizarre looking. The water's cool. Alright, let's hit this guy. See ya. Oh, he fucking melted down too. Took damage. Damn it. Oh well. Not getting much salvage out of this. Which is a sh it's a shame, but... I was really hoping for Showing more, minor damage. but I saw that he, yes. the guy was supposed to have some kind of advanced unit. Commander. I was like, oh, that sounds like a cool mission. What what he's got? Confirmed. Well, shit, that's what he's got. He ain't got shit. All right, we'll hit this guy with everything. I copy. Come on, finish him here. Nah. Whatever. I'm out of SRM. Yes, Commander. Moving to position. Just gonna get away from that Wolverine. We'll drop some heat here and just take a shot at this guy with the combat shotgun. 
I copy. Oof, there you go. Yeah, just the Wolverine left. Standing by. We ain't going anywhere. Stay out of the water here. Alright, hammer this guy. Here it comes. Confirm. It's actually pretty good instability for just lasers. You know? Nice shot. Nice shot. Damage is minor, Commander. He's coming into range of this guy, though. I'm ready. Although. There we go. Heading out. Full speed. This guy's got to stay at range. Problem with a lot of the weapons, too, like even the snubs, the damage has got damage fall off. Um, but right here, it's almost optimal range because the max damage is 60. So this is like close to, like, I don't know how many meters this is. Doesn't really say. Sorry, sorry, 467 meters. Right? So it's, it's you know, like I said, this the alpha strike on this thing is it's pretty devastating. Like if you look at, if you add this up, it's like, what, 100, 200, over 300 damage. And if I switch off to that streak PPC and stuff, yeah, it's 100 pinpoint. Um, but it's got... It has damage fall off as well, I believe. No, it doesn't. Man, I've looked at so many weapons trying to get this thing outfitted. But when I when I add that and stuff, the, the damage drops by like like 60 to 80 points or something like that overall. So Well, there you go. Tango down. There it is, folks. Mission successful. I think for now on, every time I take a battle against the locals, it'll have to be like a full skull above what I think I can handle. So these guys, probably, I mean, these guys are around three and a half, so like four, four and a half skulls, I think, for locals would probably be the best way to kind of gauge that. We need the sea bills anyway. So we'll, we'll take a bit of, um, we took a bit of damage here, but we should be okay, I think. Now, Wait, what? Oh, did those... Oh, they're... Wait, what? Why is this... This way? That's kind of bizarre. I'm grabbing the two Pegasus parts. Do we need to? Probably. So that's the medium SRM6 version, and this is the what? ST, that's what we have. So I just need one then. And I can put together the ST. 120, 80, 80, 55. 130, 99, 65. So that's better. The ATM version seems to be a little better. So it's 15 ATM as opposed to 12 SRM. And a small X pulse, which is better for us than the medium laser. I think it's the same damage though, it doesn't really matter. So we'll grab one of those, and then I think we've got... We don't have any Emperor parts. I think I sold it because it was old. I mean, I could take this and then assemble this guy and sell it. There's the ATM stuff here. Small X Pulse, 255 core. Critical, multi-track, standard. Do we have any, yeah, all garbage cockpits? Yeah, nothing. MRM tandem ammo. That might not be a bad, bad grab. Do I have one of these? I do. Hmm. Fire control system critical. Two and a half critical. What do I have? I thought, is it double crit on the one I ha have now, or is it two and a half? I'm thinking for the uh, trebuchet. I can't remember what I have on that thing. Uh, 
Oof. I'll tell you what. Let's do this. Let's grab the, another ST part in case something happens and we lose the vehicle for some reason. Yeah, I feel pretty good. We're going to get a few of these things anyway. Okay, Battle Axe, Emperor, Wolverine. Well, we already chose Wolverine. That can go. Medium lasers, we got a crap ton of them, right? Yeah. Uh, 255 core can go. Fire control system standard can go. You can go. You can go. And uh, you can go. So, I mean, eh, it is what it is. Yeah, 36,000. That's not too bad, I guess. Four days for the repairs, so... We'll get that started. Manage the tasks. Yeah, see, I mean, we still got like 35 days in the Banish Snatch and 22 days in the Orion, which is why I was saying it's like it's really. So I'll put the Vulture up at the top. Um, get that back sooner because these guys will be these ones will be back when the pilots are back. So, yeah, this is uh, just not going to happen until we jump. I don't think. You know, the Perseus is crippled right now. I, I'm. <sighs> Really considering just dropping it into storage and bringing it back out when we need it and just re outfitting it because I don't think ah, it's an iffy proposition. I don't know. Like maybe we have two lances and then some alts that we can swap out and have the third lance as like whoever is available, we run a third lance with with the additional pilots that we have because it's just too costly at the moment and there's some components on here that i'd really love to be able to use on other things uh range finder the sheath beacon the optics the heat bank might be nice you know i can cycle those in to mechs that need them like the vulture definitely needs a targeting computer um, hmm. The patchwork can definitely go somewhere. Yeah, maybe I just do that for now. Because we got 15 mechs out here, and we just can't. I can't keep these guys. Oh, it's like we're at 2.1. <laughs> yeah, let's put this guy in storage for now. We'll bring him back out later when we're ready, when I'm ready with the heavy lance again. Or you know what? Let's leave him for now. Like if I was to refit this guy, what would I do though? I considered making the Avatar the Goss build. But this guy's kind of already outfitted for Goss, so we lost the HA-40. Like, if we do a repair, what do we lose? We lost the double heatsink kit, hyper Goss ammo, and the hyper... Well, not too bad, actually. We do have a Hag, but I think it's a Hag-30. Yeah, it's a Hag-30, so, I mean, it's not as good as the 40. We can still go back to the Hag route. Bring the Hag ammo down to the leg. And then we got four tons left over. We need the double heatsink kit. Yeah, maybe we get it back up and running. It's not so bad. You know? And actually what I should do, because now I have it, and I didn't have it before, was drop in just the clan armor, which gives us case on both sides, which we didn't have. So that gives me protection for the AMS ammo. Um, we got four tons. We got more sp slots. What's our heat like? We're pretty good with heat too, I think. Yeah, not bad. Got the tag already on one arm. I mean, we could add a second tag. 
Um, what do you got for you got the tw beacon for stealth? Um, yeah, single. It's XL, right? So these guys are 960 meters, 480. I mean, we could go with, um, where are you here? Right here. That's three tons. So you got zero recoil okay good and you shouldn't have any recoil either and then we can go with um we have enough slots we don't have enough slots for even a double heat sink oh brutal what if we just go God, I don't know, man. Silver Bullet Goss Pirate. The jam and Misfire Chance was insane. Ooh, do we have, I don't, that's it. That's it for Goss. Hey, we don't have any other. We don't. We got the improved heavy Goss. Twenty tons though. And I can't move. You gotta like stand still and shoot. So it's great for a mech with like lots and lots of armor. But it's twenty tons wasted. Like if you if you move you can't really fire it, so you're wasting twenty tons of like potential firing that you could be doing every turn. And yeah, the one fifty damage is nice. 100% critical hit chance with this weapon. Ooh, I don't know, man. So if I pull the two rocket 10s, that gives me enough room to drop in the uh, heat sink, but then I'm one ton under. Hmm. Oh, wait. You know, I got an idea. Let's do... <sighs> Although the rockets are kind of giving us a punch. So I've got... Rather than going with the regular heat sink, and I, never, I completely forgot about this, I've got this guy that I could drop in here for now. That makes me flush, but that's with the rockets firing. And these are five heat each, so it's over without these. Hmm. You can see what I mean. I just don't have exactly what I need. Unless I'm missing something. You guys let me know if, if you think I'm missing like what I'm, what I'm overlooking here. But. So this is a 75 ton heavy mech, right? And the damage output just isn't there. So yeah, let me know what you think. I don't know. Like I'm not going to go. Like if I. Uh, I don't know. I guess I could just strip these two. And go this route. You know, our heat sinking is like ridiculous now. If I, put, I wish I had a plus one. I mean, I could do that and then go internals, grab a single heat sink. 
and then what? We're not low on armor, so it's not like we can add armor. I mean, I could add a little bit, but... Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to think about it. Let me know Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I mean, you kind of got an idea what I got. So, I mean, I don't know. It's got to be ballistic. It's got to stay cool. So maybe an Ultra 10. I don't know. Let me think about it. Anyway, I got to end the episode here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe. And please drop your comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later. <laughs>